Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone My name is Morinda Marcelia Siddhartha I am the student of English Language Education Department So, in this lovely occasion, I would like to present the implementation point of surface learning in instructional materials and media development subject So, without any further ado, let's get started The first is steps Surface learning is essential a type of experiential learning in which students attempt to perform community service or school based on compatibility between community needs and abilities earned in surface learning courses. SMA Muhammadiyah 4 Surabaya is my group partner school in these circumstances. I interviewed students and teachers and delivered questionnaires to students in the form of a Google formulator, which was shared via a link and posted to the class WhatsApp group. I interviewed two male and two female in grade 11 who were majoring in social sciences. From the interviews that have been conducted, there is some information or data that I got. From this data, I can determine what media students will use in learning English by adjusting their needs and also the technology commonly used by SMA Muhammadiyah Ambat Surabaya. The teachers who were interviewed also provided information that these schools more often use electronic media in conducting teaching and learning activities. Most students also stated that they preferred learning using electronic media because they felt it was more effective and interesting. In this diagram, students were asked about how often students use English learning application or social media to learn English. The results show that 34.5% of students often use social media to learn English. By knowing that most students use social media to learn English, it can be concluded that most students spend their time playing mobile phones. Because of that, I designed a learning concept that utilizes technology by adding various English content or materials that are packaged in an attractive way through flipbooks. This flipbook can be accessed anytime and everywhere via mobile phones on the flipbuilder.com web. The, the second is product. So, there are four chapters in the flipbook. The first chapter discusses about present tense with the theme, My Everyday Life. The second chapter discusses about cause and effect with the theme, Global Warming. The third chapter discusses about analytical exposition text with the theme, Conservation. And the last chapter discusses about hortatory exposition text with the theme, Healthy Life. The third is reflection. Of course, there were difficulties that I encountered when participating in surface learning activities. There are many members in my SL group who are in different classes. Because we have varied class schedules, so it is difficult for us to carry out communication and discussions. Missing communication are also common. For example, one lecturer stated that there were three courses with an SL component, but in reality, there were only two courses with an SL component. The hope for future SL activities is that the information provided by lecturers to students is clearer, so that it doesn't cause confusion for us. SL briefing can also be done on-site, so that students can ask questions directly. Even though the briefing done online is more effective, there is still information that we don't fully understand, so some students prefer to get the briefing in person. Based on what has happened, perhaps future implementations of service learning will be more well organized. So that's all my explanation about service learning on IMMD class. Thank you for watching. Hope this video is useful for us. See ya and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.